Okay, so I thought I'd do a little um, reaction or take to this uh, line that's uh, going around the Dragon Ball community right now by one of the big honchos, Akio Ayoku. He's a DB, well, Dragon Ball Super producer, uh, most notably on the movies. He uh, had this line in in a, in a weekly briefing that they do on the Dragon Ball site. And um, I think it's weekly. And, uh, you know, he basically says right here, there's also a chance that something other than the movie will be coming this year too, right? Now, hopefully that was a good translation. Um, we can hope. I think it is. But um, I think, you know, everybody's arguing and fighting over, you know, whether he's talking about the anime, whether he's talking about something else. I think I think it's pretty obvious he's talking about the anime, but even if he isn't, I think it's pretty obvious that the Dragon Ball Super anime will be coming back, just based on um, some graphs I found, and just the fact that like it's a very popular anime, and um, money is a big motivator. Like yes, having a good series is also a big motivator. But how profitable it is is also a big motivator, and Super is very profitable from the research I've done. So I think it's going to be coming back. If it's not this year, I I'm willing to, to bet 2023 for sure it will be back. And um, these are some graphs I found to back this up. <clears throat> so, uh, you know, most of this is in Japanese, but this was, um, I think, yeah, 2017. And, uh, you know, this was like Tournament of Power arc, and this was like the first time that the Super Anime actually surpassed One Piece. Now, a lot of these are series, they've been around for years, like Detective Conan, but, um, I mean, this is a big deal. Like, Dragon Ball Super surpassed One Piece um, in that Tournament of Power arc. That, you know, that and One Piece, you know, this is the, these are the top series in Japan, the top animated series. And Dragon Ball is up there. And remember, Japan has a lot of series. You know, the, each season they release a new series, new anime. And uh, Dragon Ball Super made it into the top. So uh, that, that that really should tell you something. Um, and then we have this other uh, graph, which uh, is Spanish. Um, but it shows also like um, some, some, some dates here with the ratings. And, uh, you know, Super was below One Piece here, but still, in the, you know, on the top. Um, you know, we got, let's see, one, two, three, four, you know, still in top ten. Um, yeah, I mean, that that's really something. And then uh, I found this, this graph right here, right? And this is just all-time manga sales. This is the manga. This is different than the anime. But uh, the point still remains... Dragon Ball is the second highest grossing manga series of all time. You know, 240 million copies. Now, One Piece, you know, damn, you know, about double that. But the point is, I mean, look, Dragon Ball's above Naruto, Detective Conan, Gogo 13, which is a good old school series, by the way. Way above Bleach, which a lot of people see as a big series. And they brought Bleach back because the Bleach anime was super profitable. So that's why Bleach is coming back. And you compare, you know, um, look how, how popular Dragon Ball is as a manga to Bleach. It's not even close. Now, um, let's see. What was the air graph I had in here? They got a few more. Oh, yeah. So this was the IP because, you know, Bandai Namco, they own the IP for Dragon Ball, which includes a lot of figurines, the games. And if you look at, you know, Dragon Ball was pretty flat. You know, nothing was going on here, really. You know, a couple specials, Son Goku and his friends. But then, you know, you have the Dragon Ball Renaissance 2015, and this uh, shoots up. And, you know, any corporate boardroom, they see a graph like this, they're going to want to continue this series. This is a franchise that is very profitable. Now, this graph is a few years old. Maybe it did go down a bit, but I doubt it. Um, you know, this, this looks very good if you want another season of the Dragon Ball Super Anime. So anybody tells you... It's not popular in Japan. They don't know what they're talking about. This series is incredibly popular in Japan and around the world. 
Um, and then, you know, sales of major IPs. Dragon Ball, you know, number one. Which, you know, because all the games and everything. Which, you know, One Piece, you know, best-selling manga, but they don't have the games and, and all the merchandise Dragon Ball has. So, um, in conclusion... I think regardless of, you know, how you want to take what Akio Ayoko said, this series will be getting another animated season. There will be, the anime will be coming back. Just a matter of when, not if, in my opinion. Anyways, um, oh, my chair, man, it's getting old, it's crackling. Um, have a good day, and don't forget to like, it's greatly appreciated. I just wanted to give my take on this, because a lot of people were talking, will the anime come back? It's going to come back. Um, but yeah, have a good day and peace out.